Welcome to Flow of Miracles Healing for the Week. This video is for week 50, which is the 13th until 19th of December. If you love these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's see what energy is available for us this week. And the first energy that's available for us is trusting. Trusting energy is a wonderful energy that allows us to stay connected to the people we love. When we trust people, uh, we can stay connected, we can share and be vulnerable. Um, we can actually stop doing everything ourselves and actually be able to move forward in our lives quite easily and effortlessly because we get the help we need. Uh, it's very un understandable that sometimes we feel our trust is misplaced. Be very careful that you're not punishing new people in your life for some of the things other people have done. And of course, there's trusting yourself, your body, your intuition, and your idea of higher power, whether it's God, spirit, the universe. And when we are in this beautiful, positive energy of trusting, we don't worry. We don't spend time negatively fantasizing about what can happen. We just stay in the flow. So beautiful energy this week. If there's something that you want to build, now is the time to trust. And the second is joyful. Joyful energy reminds us that life's to be enjoyed, that it's very important that we don't only work, 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 but that we create something that's joyful. Uh, I don't think it's a surprise for those of us who celebrate Christmas that it's all about being merry, being joyful, and to realize even as at least in this part of the world, uh, the days grow darker. Um, it's so important to stay in a place of joy. So if you have a very busy planner, now is the time to create some joy for yourself. Do something that replenishes you, that makes you happy. Uh, share with friends, move forward in a way that is beautiful for you. And the last energy is forgiving. So forgiving, beautiful heart energy. I love any type of forgiving energy, energy and any type of forgiving exercise. Whenever we forgive, everything in our life gets better. Whenever we forgive, we are no longer hampered by the past. We're able to make healthy choices. And whether it's forgiving ourselves or forgiving another person, it moves us forward. It frees us and forgiving doesn't mean that you still have to have that person in your life forgiving doesn't mean that you agree with what happened or that you think it was okay forgiving just means that you're able to move forward there are many lovely forgiving exercises uh, of course there's uh, Honopo, the Hawaiian uh, forgiveness exercise that I love to do in meditation uh, but there are also exercises where you choose to forgive, whether it's writing a letter to somebody who wronged you and then burning it, uh, or actually being kind to yourself. So with these three energies, trusting, joyful, and forgiving, it seems that this week is very centered around who do we surround ourselves with and what are we doing in our lives for ourselves. So it's very good to stay connected to your body this week. It's very good to see if you are creating a trusting and wonderful uh, environment or not. Understand that without forgiveness, there cannot be new trust and without trust, there cannot be very easy forgiveness. It's very easy to forgive somebody if you trust that they really repent what they did. It's much easier to trust somebody if you've forgiven everybody in your past who has done something that you dislike and you can then move forward in a wonderful way that is beneficial to everybody. So take some time this week to do forgiveness exercises. Take this time to see where you put your trust and where it might help to have a little bit more of surrender and more of trust. And don't forget to do something super joyful for yourself.